Hi, it's Brett here again from voicerecognition.com.au. Uh, today we're just going to quickly go through the uh, steps required to set up a user profile. Uh, basically, as soon as you finish the installation from your DVD-ROM, you'll be forced into this uh, wizard. Uh, the, the setup of the actual software itself is very straightforward. You put the disk in the drive and you follow the instructions. Um, and, and the profile creation is pretty much the same, just follow the instructions on screen. But uh, we'll just quickly go through it. Okay, so first thing you need to do is give it a name. I'm going to call mine Brett Voice Recognition and go next. Now you have to choose an age. You can say prefer not to say, but the age will actually give it an idea of your voice. Obviously your voice does change over the course of a lifetime. Uh, I'm 22 to 54, so I'll leave that. Now if you're in Australia, we recommend you choose Australia regardless of your accent because uh, the region settings, apart from uh, you know spelling and, and words, it will will affect the formatting of phone numbers and, and all sorts of things. So, so basically, uh, the region is really important that you choose Australia if you're in Australia. Uh, and obviously, if you bought it from us, uh, you are in Australia because uh, we're in Australia. So next, now I'm speaking on a Jabra GN9450, which is a, a wireless headset. Uh, that goes through both the telephone and my Dragon. But uh, as far as Dragon's concerned, as far as my PC is concerned, it's USB, because that's how it connects, USB. So we go next, and we create. Now, obviously, if you've got an analog microphone, um, then you would choose mic in uh, as the audio source. Uh, if you're setting up a, a recorder, the process would be quite different. Uh, but obviously, you would choose a, a digital recording as the input. Now, positioning your microphone. So the main thing is that you keep your microphone about an inch below and an inch to the side of your mouth. And that way it just makes sure that you're not breathing onto the microphone. Now, most microphones will either automatically position there or have a windsock on them to help prevent uh, you know, the, the crackling that you would get from your breathing. But do try and position it as best as you can. The other trick is, especially if you've got a good noise cancelling microphone like the Andrea uh, NC181 or the NC185, uh, is to make sure you've got that little white dot near the microphone here facing towards you. And that's just because the, the noise cancellation has a secondary microphone on the other side. And uh, if you have it backwards, uh, obviously it won't work very well. So we're just going to do a volume check. We just hit start volume check. While you are reading this, the computer will adjust your microphone volume settings and then beep to signal that the process is complete. Speak. Okay, there we go. It's done. So we just go next, same thing again, it's done a quality check. For Dragon to recognize your voice accurately, it needs to check the quality of your audio system and your microphone. Speaking of the microphone as clearly and naturally as you did in the previous step. While reading this, Dragon is listening to you and examining the quality of your audio. Once Dragon has enough information, you'll hear a beep to signal that the press, okay, it's done. That sounds pretty good. So we'll go next. Now, I always choose show text with prompting. It's a lot easier than showing text without prompting. Definitely don't skip training. Skipping training will get you straight into the software, but it'll be very inaccurate. So we suggest doing at least the minimum uh, training. So when you go into training, just hit go, and then you just kind of like karaoke, just read what you see on screen. Welcome to general training. Training is about to begin. After you do those two, what you need to do is select a text to read. Now, I suggest you choose what to expect from speech recognition, because it's short and it's easy and it's also informative. It'll tell you a little bit about Dragon. It makes life a little bit easier, especially if you're a new user. Um, so we hit OK. I'm just going to pause it for a second. Basically, with uh, the training, if at any point you want to take a break, you just hit pause, have a drink of water. And when you're ready to go again, hit go. You can always skip forward or skip back if you're not happy with the way you said something, um, but uh, let's go through it. Please read this text at a normal pace and with a normal tone of voice, as if you were having a conversation with another person. Dragon will now collect an audio sample so it can adapt to the characteristics of your voice and begin learning how you pronounce words. You are not required to say punctuation while reading this training text, but it's a good idea since you will need to say punctuation when you dictate documents and emails. Good idea since you will need to say punctuation when you dictate documents and emails. So I'm just pausing it there for a moment just to explain what happened there. So if it didn't quite catch uh, a word, it'll take you back to the last part it did understand. The little yellow arrow will pop up. 
and uh, you just need to resume from that arrow and, that, and that's what I did you might see that again uh, depending on on your speech and depending on your microphone you may need to do it a couple of times this is a pretty good microphone so I'd expect I'd only have to do it one or two times dictating with dragon is different than talking to another person people can easily filter out noise which lets us understand each other even in a noisy restaurant computers need help separating speech sounds from other sounds as you read, make sure you are in a place without too much noise. You should also check the position of your microphone. Your microphone should always be about an inch away from the corner of your mouth. When people talk, they often hesitate, mumble, slur their words, or leave words out altogether. But we are still able to understand each other. For example, we use our experience and common sense to decide whether someone said, ice cream or ice cream. Dragon doesn't understand what words mean, so it can't use common sense the way people do. Instead, Dragon recognises words that appear next to each other. See, I'm just going to pause again. So there I stumbled, I said each other words, which is not what it says, so I'm going to redo that one. Instead, Dragon recognises words that appear next to other words. It learns this from the way you speak to it. To it. You need to help it understand how you speak and the context of the words you use. Dragon calculates how frequently words and phrases are used and can offer you suggestions when it makes mistakes. You just need to know how to operate it properly. It's best to dictate in complete sentences, speaking clearly and evenly in a natural manner. The idea is to speak to Dragon normally at a consistent speed and volume. Try not to hesitate, exaggerate your pronunciation or talk loudly or slowly. Try to think about your whole sentence before you start to speak it. This will give Dragon the context it needs. The software lets you dictate punctuation and symbols such as question mark, open quote, plus sign, and hyphen. Even things like smiley face. Dragon also comes with hundreds of commands including new paragraph, backspace 5, mouse move up, Drag mouse down, correct that, undo that, that, copy that, cap that, delete line, go to end of line, press enter, press escape, press F2, press tab. Pause briefly before saying a command and Dragon will instantly recognise that the command is something you want it to do rather than something you were dictating. When you first start dictating with Dragon, it's important to be patient. As with anything, practice is important. Try to avoid saying extra words you really don't want in your document, like, you know. Dragon has no way of knowing which words you say are important, so it simply transcribes everything you say. Think about what you want to say before you speak. This will help you to dictate in complete phrases. To understand what it means to speak both clearly and naturally, listen to the way newscasters read the news. For the best results using speech recognition, copy this style when you dictate. If you dictate something by accident, you can delete it by saying, scratch that. You can delete full sentences, a phrase, just one word, or a symbol. When you are dictating something Dragon doesn't understand, like a person's name, you can say spell that and then spell out the word in the spelling window. You can apply formatting using a word processor, just select the word by voice, and then you can capitalize, change font size and style, and apply bold, italics, or underlining. Another great feature is that Dragon can check all your documents and emails to learn how you write and the words and phrases that are most frequently used when you speak. Dragon enables you to perform many everyday tasks by just using your voice. Besides transcription and dictation, you can also use it to surf the web by voice. You can start Internet Explorer by saying Start Internet Explorer and then use commands to go to websites. Search the internet or fill out and submit forms. Dragon also works with Mozilla Firefox. You can also use Dragon to read, write, send and receive email with almost any email application. You dictate an email address as you would normally speak it. In order to send an email to info at thiscompany.com, you would say info at thiscompany.com. Okay, so now it's just telling me that we're finished. 
Um, it does automatically adjust. Sometimes it'll go for longer if uh, it thinks it still needs to keep learning your voice. Sometimes it'll go for shorter if it thinks it's uh, got enough information. Uh, but after that, it will adapt the user profile. Um, another thing worth noting, uh, if you're like me and you use Google Chrome, it didn't mention that you can use Google Chrome. It said that you could use Internet Explorer and uh, Mozilla Firefox, uh, but you can also use Google Chrome. Um, I use Google Chrome and I find it works quite well. So the adaptation, so the adaptation can take a few moments, um, usually only about a minute. Uh, it depends on your computer, um, but as long as you've got a, a fairly modern computer, it should finish it pretty quickly. Basically, Dragon's just saving that information uh, to your user profile. Now, in this step, immediately after training, it just asks if you want it to go through your emails and your documents and grab any words it doesn't know. Um, I suggest skipping it. So just uncheck these two little tick boxes and hit next. Now the reason I say that is Dragon can't make a spelling mistake unless you teach it a spelling mistake. And I find the best way to do that is to have it go through all my emails, which I've haphazardly typed to, to friends and family and, and not really proofed. Um, so what I would suggest is if you've got a few documents that you want to import the words from, go through them, spell check them and add them later. Don't, don't get it to go through everything in your computer. It'll, it'll take a long time and, uh, and, and it doesn't uh, can do more harm than good. Really. Okay, all good. Congratulations, your profile is ready for use. So we just hit finish and that's it. Dragon is now set up. If you're like me and you have a few uh, favorite settings, you should go into your uh, options window now and set those. Um, the one last thing that does happen, sorry, is the new interactive tutorial in version 12. It, it pops up as soon as you finish setting it up. Uh, it does make sense that it does that because it's actually really helpful. If you've never used Dragon before, go through it. And we might make another video about uh, using the interactive tutorial, uh, but uh, we'll just close it for now. If you ever want to go back to it, you always just go help and then uh, interactive tutorial. Uh, but that's it, we're set up.